welcome back to Red A Turd Art. Look at these 3D cat cards, aren't they adorable? Now I spotted these on a Russian website a little while back. I've linked the Russian website down below. Please do check that out as well. And today I thought you might like to see a video of how they're made. You can learn how to make them from scratch or you can use some printables that I've created. And I've also got lots of different little catty sayings that you can add. So come on then, let's take a look and see how they're made. So to make your pop-up cards, you will need um, some contrasting paper or cards. So I've got yellow and the cat's going to be um, sort of like a cream colour. You're going to use either my printable that I'll talk about during the video or some scrap paper to create your own. I'm going to show you how to do your own, but also, of course, link down below the printable because I know that helps some of you. And then an assortment of glue, scissors, pencils, you know, things for embellishing, um, you know, whatever you have at home. But you definitely need the card, the glue and the scissors. So the first thing you do is, is you set out and make your card. Now, normal cards open up that way. So first you need to create your opening up this way card. So I took an A4 sheet of paper. I cut it down the center by folding it took that away so I can make a second card and then I folded that sheet of paper in half so that's to just create your basic card. I'm going to use that in a minute. You now want to design your pop-up. <laughs> this is so cute. Now this one, uh, which was my first attempt, I actually made a little bit too big. Classic isn't it? But don't worry the printable I've made will work for you and it will fit. If you're designing yours own from scratch I'll show you what you need to consider. So this piece of paper is just a scrap piece of paper. This is the same size as the card. What's really important is you need three parts to your um, cat or your animal. And here are my sketched pieces. You need a back, you need a head, and you need a body. Of course you also need a front body, but this is actually the same as the back body. And what you need to do is when you're creating your um, pieces together, they have to fit your sheet of paper, okay? So if I fold this, that just fits. So my little cat will be able to stay inside. So that's what you need to think about when you're designing. So when I started this out, I started off with, you've got to add some space for paws, but I started off with just creating this sort of shape, very basic and this kind of shape and then later when you cut it out you add the feet and then you add a tail so you've got your first shape already that's that and I just basically kept going over it until it looked what I thought was neat now you're gonna to have to cut out one of these and then another one of just the front bit then this is just a rectangle so you then look at uh, how big you want your cat to be in terms of how far you want it to stick it out and I literally just sketched it out rough rectangle with some little foldy bits on the side and finally the head so once I had cut out my body shape I took this and I went okay I want my head to come out quite far so I just gave it a rough outline so this is like an oval. I added little ears, little ears, and then I did some sketching of what the face could look like. And that's how you can create your own template, okay? But like I've mentioned, I already did that process. Down below you can print out the um, my template <laughs> uh, if you want, um, but I encourage you to have a go at doing your own. And then it's time to use your nice paper. So I've got this nice, oh there's two sheets here, I've got this lovely paper which is textured, I just happen to have it and I think it's really good. Obviously use any paper you've got at home um, and take it from there. So I'm just now going to outline all my shapes and cut them out and speed up the video and then we'll get to the next bit. have all your bits now you notice I cut my out ears out separately you don't have to do that I just like the look of it being a bit layered but you really don't have to you can just do it all as, as one now I'm going to make sure that this little cat has some paws I'm gonna 
make quite big ones actually. Well, not so, not quite so big. And then you do need to check that it all fits together. So I'll fold this. And you might as well check that it all fits before you start decorating your cat's face. And I think we're just about in there. Phew, maybe one little ear poking out. But you can just lower the head a bit or adjust the shape of the ear. There we go. Great, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Make sure your front and your back are aligned. So the top bit needs to be aligned. You can now glue that together. Now, if you find that it doesn't quite fit, you can always make this a bit narrower. That helps as well. to go with little black eyes so um, here you can see I've really cut them out because it, I wanted to save a little bit of time so I literally just cut out some black paper and then I took um, just some white paint and a toothpick and dabbed on the colors now you could always just draw them on with a black pen and color it in um, it's totally your choice <laughs> dry a little bit more so I don't get up my fingers glue this down so here you need to put glue all over and here just on the pores and finally attach the head so I'm going to put it slightly at an angle because I think that makes it really cute so here they are again aren't they cute the little 3d cards are simply adorable now remember um don't do as i do do as i say look i made this one a bit too big and look at this one this is also a tiny bit too big but you know what the printable i've done below um i've adjusted the size a little bit and it'll just be a slightly smaller cat a bit narrower not quite as high but still isn't that adorable and i think these cards are great for you know like i say happy birthday you're a possum that would be great for valentine's don't you think um you can also do uh here's one about uh I hope you're feeling better soon. Meowy Christmas. So lots of opportunities for using these cute pop-up uh, cat cards. Um, and as mentioned before, I've put a link down below to a Russian website that has other patterns. It's got a lion and a monkey, and that's where I originally got the idea from. So do check them out as well. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, we'd love to see you again soon. But above all, keep watching and keep making. Take care. Bye. Thank you.